，如果你不会说这个音表的话，那你就没办法说真正的美式英语。我觉得今天的课程是非常 amazing. But first, don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more awesome English and cross-cultural content. 也可以点那个小铃，每次有一个新的中美有趣的视频会给你通知一下。两年之前我拍了几个关于美式英语的音表视频，这些视频呢就是我经常碰到的发音错误。然后后来感觉没有什么其他的常见的发音错误，但是我就开始想。这个仅仅是我自己的角度，那我讽刺的角度呢？发现到好多讽刺有很多其他的关于发音的问题，所以今天我就继续拍一些关于发音和音表的视频。So I think a good place to start learning more about pronunciation is through practicing vowel sounds, a e i o u, and sometimes y. The more I think about it, the more I realize that the vowel sounds are very difficult to master. For non-native English speakers, the difference between some of the vowel sounds are very, very small, and if you say them wrong, the word might have a totally different meaning. For example, sheep, ship. Did you hear the difference? Not, note, desk, disc. If you can't hear the difference, <coughs> don't worry. Michael Ashlajali, bangju daja. So we are going to talk about the most common sound in English. 大家知道是什么音标吗？给你一个机会猜一猜。Nope, nope， 还是不对。It's called the schwa， and it is everywhere. It's in many, many words and just about every sentence we say in English. In fact, I just said it a few times. Oops, I just said it again. <gasps> I just said it again. Yeah. This sound is so common in English that we use it when we don't know what else to say. Uh, 就是跟中国人经常说的那个那个那个一样 That's the schwa. Uh, in the phonetic alphabet, it looks like an upside down e. And lately, I've noticed a lot of people saying it wrong. For example, is it banana or banana? 哇，连 banana 我也发错音了。麦克老师没关系，发错 banana。Take care. What care? 为什么呢 ？Because I want you to speak the best English you can, and because I'm a teacher, it's my job. In this video, I would like my students to be more active. So if you can find a quiet place where you can talk and repeat after me, please go there now. So are you ready to learn just how crazy the schwa is? The schwa can come from any of the syllables a, e, i, o, or u. 但是我们不是说 a， 我们说 a， a pencil， a， a， e， the， the， i， pencil， pencil， o， computer， computer， u， under， under。哇塞，这个音标怎么回事 ？It's okay. If you are a lazy person like me, then this is the perfect sound for you to make. That's right. It's considered the lazy person's sound. Why? Because you don't have to do anything. Just keep your mouth and tongue in a neutral position. Uh. The only two things you need to remember. Uh. First, the schwa is always voiced. Uh. Busher. Second,、uh, it's always unstressed, so you should say banana, banana, pusher banana, no, 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 banana.、Uh, there's also a lot of word endings that use the schwa sound. So let me introduce to you the most common ones. The schwa sound can be at the beginning of a word, such as apartment, apartment, amazing, amazing. It can be in the middle of a word, cucumber, cucumber, or at the end of a word, pizza, pizza. And if you speak more British English, you'll notice that words which end with o r or e r will also use the schwa sound. For example, in American English, we say mother, but in British English, it might sound like mother, mother. Father, 
Father。哇！哎呦，麦克老师，还有其他的字用刷这个音标。Oh, I'm glad you asked that question. Many common word endings use the schwa sound as well. For example, shun. So please repeat after me. Station. Station. Now you have a try. Station. Un. Mountain. Mountain. Full. Beautiful. Beautiful. Lund. England. England, man, salesman, salesman, us, humorous, humorous, ut, private, private. Not bad, not bad. Now let's try to say a few sentences. If you are confused, <coughs> don't worry. Please remember. This is the most common sound in all of English, so it's very important that we learn it well. Let's try some practice sentences. So I'm going to read each sentence one time at a slow speed. Then I would like you to copy my voice and read the sentence once out loud as well. Then I will read it a second time, a little faster, and then I want you to listen and tell me. How many schwa sounds you heard? Here we go. We're on our way to Schwa Town. <laughs> One thing I should say before we start is about the letter A. When used as a word in American English, we often pronounce it uh. All right. Let's begin with number one. My friend found an amazing apartment near the university. Now you try. My friend found an amazing apartment near the university. So, how many schwa sounds did you hear? If you said seven, you are correct. Good job. Okay, sentence number two. Someday I will vacation in the beautiful mountains of America, Canada, and China. Good. Someday I will vacation in the beautiful mountains of America, Canada, and China. How many schwa sounds did you hear this time? Okay, this one is crazy, but if you said thirteen schwa sounds, you are correct. My class is too hard. Don't be afraid. Through the practice of every week, you can get the knowledge. Sentence number three. I normally eat a delicious breakfast on the sofa. With a cup of tea. I normally eat a delicious breakfast on the sofa with a cup of tea. So how many this time? You got it. Nine schwa sounds. Can you believe it? Sentence number four. Buying a camera or computer is a difficult decision. Buying a camera or a computer is a difficult decision. Now, this one can be a little tricky, depending on whether you are speaking American English or British English. If American English, we would say computer with an R at the end. So that would mean there are eight total schwa sounds. If I was using British English, I would probably say a schwa sound at the end of computer. So instead, it would be computer. That would bring this sentence to nine total schwa sounds. And practice sentence number five, the last one I have for you today. Be careful when eating a frozen pizza. Be careful when eating a frozen pizza. I hope this one was a little easier. And if you said four schwa sounds, you are correct. Please feel free to take these sentences from the description and practice them and master the most common pronunciation sound in English, the schwa sound. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel 
for more amazing English and cross-cultural content. Also, feel free to leave me a message about your other pronunciation difficulties below. 我是麦克老师，下次再见。